I wanna show you what some of these tools do here in Photoshop. They're really powerful and they're something that you will use a lot to be able to grab something, move something, change something, paint in something. I'm going to make a copy of this background layer. So I'm just gonna hit Control or Command J or I can right click and then hit Duplicate Layer there are great selection tools. We're gonna come over here and use the magic wand. The magic wand tool is great for very specific selections. And with this magic wand tool, it's gonna select a color range. Click on the eye. You can see that it's grabbing kind of a lot of different pieces because those are very, very similar. You can change the tolerance up here to maybe a lower number and it will grab a smaller portion. What would happen if we just tried to select the background with the magic wand tool? When we click on it, it's going to select everything that is connected in white. So you can see some of the grays down here are a little bit changed and it's done a pretty good job, but it only does, big word, contiguous selections. Only grab sections that are touching. So this white that's in here is not being selected because it's not touching. Add your selection, you can hold shift and click to add into that selection. If you wanna take away from that selection, you can hold alt and click, and then it will take away that selection. The selection is this. These little marching ants that you can see all around here, they are basically outlining, right? And they're, they're called marching ants. That is the technical term for it. You can see them kind of following that line and that is your selection. With a selection, let's go ahead and make a new layer. So we're gonna click on plus and we've made a new layer. Now we have this selection happening in the background. If I try to paint on this image using that brush tool and I click and drag, you can see that it's painting in. But because it's a selection, if we go close to the face, you can see that it's not going to paint in where our non-selected area is. If you wanna know what is selected, you can grab that magic wand tool, and if you hover over in its white arrow, that means that it is selected. If it is the magic wand tool, it means that it is not selected. Let's go ahead and deselect this selection by right-clicking and going to deselect. You also can hit Control or Command D. And right here, it looks like we've got a little bit of weirdness happening with the face. At a large size, you don't really notice, and that's fine, but we're gonna delete our painting, and we are going to use a new selection tool, and we are gonna click and hold on that magic wand and go to the Object Selection tool. You can see that it has these little arrows that are spinning. It's trying to find all the objects in this image. Click and hold over, you can see that it has found the woman as the object, and all I need to do with one click, and it will select that object. I clicked on the woman that it has a selection, it has selected that object, and all that I need to do now is I want to go ahead and delete the background. I can right click and go to select inverse, and that's gonna select the background. What I wanna do is I'm just going to hit delete and delete that background. There is a lot of adjustment you can do using something called adjustment layers. They are like this little circle with a slash through it. Next to where we created our new layer, we're going to go to adjustment layer. And from here, let's say that we want to make it a little bit brighter. We can go ahead and go to our exposure. And when we click on that, it's going to add this little layer right here. This layer is editing everything below it. As you click and drag, you can see that we have our properties panel. The properties panel is where you can change what's happening with a filter, with a tool, with a layer. Properties has a lot of different options for you to be able to customize your design. So let's take the exposure up just a little bit. And as I click and drag on this, you can see that it's affecting that layer. It's affecting everything below it. When I talk about going in and learning on your own time, click on every single one of these. Go in, click on them, see what they do and experiment. And that way you can understand a little bit better for yourself. Bye.